My first guest says the memo contains every relevant fact, and he was one of the first lawmakers urging it to be released. A Republican Congressman Pete King sits on the House Intelligence Committee. Great to see you today. Uh, you know, Nancy Pelosi Good and job. others, and Democrats across the political aisle, are saying that they're upset that perhaps this memo, uh, including on the House Intel Committee, Adam Schiff, uh, has been changed in some ways. I want to start there with you, Congressman, because I want to know what changes have been made uh, to the memo. Uh, before its potential release. You know, the Democrats change their arguments every day. As far as I know, and this was discussed the other night with Chairman Nunes, there's only one change I'm aware of. There may have been a grammatical change besides that. There was, uh, I think, three or four words in the memo which involve an issue that everyone knows about, but for, what, uh, but for protocol reasons, the FBI did not want it actually included in the memo. It does not change the substance of the memo at all. Uh -huh. It's strictly a protocol issue, and that's it. it did, no way does it affect uh, any of the substance or any of the spirit at all of the uh, memo. So the Democrats are just throwing a totally phony issue out there. All right. Will you be able to see the memo before uh, in this new form? Is that necessary for uh, committees to be able to see that? No, this is standard procedure. You can always... Uh, uh, in any House committee, after something has been approved, you can make technical changes. That's always part of any procedure. If it changes the substance in any way, that's one thing. This does not change the substance. It has no impact whatsoever. It's done all the time. The White House, as we know, on a hot mic the other night after the State of the Union, the <clears> president <throat> said that 100% uh, he would be releasing this, and I know you've been pushing for it. Uh, can you give me any indication of any sort of timetable that you know about? Have you talked with the White House? I know you feel so strongly about it getting out there. No, but it has to be done in the next several days. And uh, my certainly from everything I'm hearing, I think this is all unofficial. The president wants a, re a release. Now, if there's something in there that's shown to him that he feels has to be corrected, I'm sure he'll uh, mm -hmm. uh, address that. But uh, I, again, as far as I can tell, having gone through it myself a number of times, spoken with the experts on it, and based on what the FBI had said up until yesterday, there's nothing in there at all that involves... Uh, methods or procedures, sources or methods, and nothing at all involving a, a risk to national security. But again, if, they, if there's something there, that's one thing. I, I think that the president wants to release it. And uh, again, absent maybe some technical change, I think it'll be released. All right, last question real quickly. Uh, is this a bombshell? I mean, is this a game change, this memo? It's very significant. I don't want to oversell it. I, I agree with Trey Gowdy. I think Republicans sometimes make a mistake of overselling things. But I'm saying this is vital. It's essential for the public to see. And it's certainly important in the body of evidence to be out there. This constant stream of anti-Trump uh, matters being leaked from the Justice Department, leaked from the Democrats. And there's this whole one-sided uh, agenda out there. I think it's important for the American people to see that this investigation, as far as I'm concerned, and I believe the memo shows, was ill-conceived from the start and there were improper procedures taken at the very top. All right. You call it vital and essential for the American public to see. Congressman yes. Pete King of New York, we appreciate your time as this story is one that we are watching so closely with potentially the imminent release of that Republican memo. Thank you very much.